So here we at right now. I just did a little test fitting, making sure we can get it all in there. For some reason, the video didn't record or anything like I wanted to. I see there's going to be a lot, a lot of clearance issues in front here. So for the kids, because I already had my kids stepping down in it. After taking some time and waiting for some time on some time, figured out what I needed to do to make the space a little bit better. Instead of cutting and drilling and cutting the rest of the body out, because I kind of want to keep the little foot, little foot, uh, little foot downs right down there, just for. So it's all enclosed, so it stays enclosed. So when my kids are riding, they're not getting splashed and with all that snow or any, not only just snow, but water, dirt, and everything like that. So what we decided here is, is to go with a, a little bit smaller seat. So, but at the same time, we're gonna be going, taking the seat belts off of this securing it somewhere on here so they can still be secured inside there so if they're driving fast at least they got a seat belt on so they can still ride yeah i might be cutting a couple little holes in this so the belt can feed through but there's going to be a hoop and everything here as well but it gives them a little storage on the side here on either side and when I figure out the steering wheel column and everything they might ha still be able to have that cup holder or use this as a cup holder one of the two but this might be having to get cut out so for the drive for the drivetrain and everything so right now I'm just focused on figuring out now where I'm going to be putting the sh uh, steering on top of figuring out where to put the steering I'm going to be using the old little shifter that came on this nice little four-wheeler here this little shifter here we're going to use for my kids so they can shift it for, uh, for reverse or drive. Just a little handle so they're not using their feet and so it's easier for them to drive. But there we at so far. After taking some time thinking, this is what we're going to solve our clearance issue. But we're going to use the seat belts off. going on so far I had the tires were taken off earlier but I had to get a whole new frame due to the fact is cutting and welding and everything on this one is gonna be a little hassle but I'm gonna be using all the parts from this one transfer them over to this one so we can do it but as I see everything should line up pretty pretty good the back's going to be pushed in, pushed in just a little bit, but it's a little wider than this one. Comes with front brakes as well. Reason, the reason why I got this is because of the lower control arm setup. It sits at the bottom here. It's all connected to one piece. So, and it comes with shocks and everything. But I got a good deal on it. Couldn't pass the deal up. So, this is what we're going to be using for the basis of the frame. Now it's this assembly time. Let's just assemble this and size this up as well. So, there you go.
So after taking some time, looking at it, thinking of how I'm going to do it, all I know is I'm going to have to stretch the frame a little bit here. Uh, probably three, three and a half inches. Uh, we'll measure that a little later. That will be in part three. I'd like to thank everybody for watching so far. And like, subscribe, share, comment. Tell me what you think about it. Uh, and what else you would like to see. But I'm going to have to end the video right here. Hope everybody have a good day. And see you in the next video.